Hey guys, Vegathron here. In this series, we'll be going through each and every charm in Hollow Knight. But this won't just be your normal charm guide. We'll be going deeper than ever before, by the numbers to uncover absolutely everything we can about each charm. And you can expect the same thing when Silk Song comes out. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Weaver Song. This charm costs two notches and summons three weaverlings to fight for you. This charm can be found in Deep Nest, in the Weaver's Den sub area. Weaver Song summons three Weaverlings to fight for you. They deal three damage on contact with enemies and cannot be killed. The damage the Weaverlings put out is fairly low, especially later in the game. However, unlike Glowing Womb Hatchlings, Weaverlings do not consume soul. It's hard to talk about Weaver Song without touching on its special interactions, as without them, they simply deal a bit of damage and there isn't a whole lot to talk about. When combined with Grub Song, each time they deal damage, you'll receive 3 soul. In the right circumstances, this can actually add up fairly quickly and can be a consideration when playing a spellcasting build. The actual DPS they put out can vary wildly, as the Weaverlings depend on touching their targets to deal damage. They do somewhat go out of their way to walk and leap into enemies, but it can be fairly unpredictable and they can often end up on the wrong side of the screen doing nothing. To get a ballpark figure for their DPS numbers, I stood still against the Brooding Morlake boss using invincibility and did nothing but let the Weaverlings deal damage until it died. Keep in mind when you look at the following numbers, this is ideal circumstances and you wouldn't get a situation this perfect in real gameplay. Brooding Morlake has 1050 health and the Weaverlings managed to kill it in 3 minutes and 44.6 seconds, meaning they dealt 4.675 damage per second. Not too bad. Doing a second test, I this time also equipped Sprintmaster, which increases Weaverling move speed by 50%. Now theoretically, this should let Weaverlings stick to and chase their targets better, increasing overall DPS. This was not the case. In the exact same conditions, Sprintmaster boosted Weaverlings actually took 1 second longer than the base Weaverlings, achieving 4.656 damage per second. This was unexpected, and my only explanation is the added speed actually caused them to overshoot their target and caused them to spend extra time getting back into range. Admittedly, this is a small sample size, so take this info with a grain of salt, but based off these results, it doesn't seem like it's really worth going out of your way to use Sprintmaster with them. This charm definitely does a lot better against less mobile targets, but even then, they should only be seen as supplemental damage and never the focus of the build. If you're struggling to get hits on a boss, then this charm will guarantee you get at least some damage off while you focus on healing and dodging. Last of all, Weaver Song also unlocks bonus dialogue and dream dialogue with the midwife in Deep Nest. Weaver Song Special Interactions Combining Grub Song and Weaver Song will cause any damage the Weaverlings deal to generate 3 soul, even from enemies that don't usually give soul. Oddly enough, this can even trigger after death, meaning you can spawn with a minuscule amount of soul. When combining Sprintmaster and Weaver Song, Weaverlings will move 50% faster as well as jump further. That's all for this episode. If you learned something, help me out by subbing and dropping a like. And I hope to see you in the next episode, featuring Dream Wielder.